that she wanna ride with Roll it up, get high with We do this all the time, it really ain't nothing that's just us vibing Radio to the max, see you laid back, that's just my drive in I got a whole lot of time, you gon' hop in I'm the one she wanna ride with Roll it up, get high with We do this all the time, it really ain't nothing that's just us vibing Radio to the max, see you laid back, that's just my drive in I got a whole lot of time, you gon' hop in uh, she wanna ride with me cause I'm cool Hit the highway then I cruise Seat back, music blasting, that's just how I do Win more than I lose So when the most pick I get chose She break it down, roll it up Like hit then we blow Man for now I'ma live in the moment No hands drop on my knees I'm fresh and I'm a flashy nigga Get the picture I'm after that cheese And I know they're gonna let me on the mic too uh, Ain't no question what I might do Been a man since high school Whoever wanna test me this a crash course Head of my time like fast forward, bitch on a man boy And if you don't believe me then just watch, just watch Top down while I ride, ride with a bad bitch on my side Shades on top of my eyes, if I hit the clutch, gas gone That's just how we ride, nigga I'm cruising I'm the one she wanna ride with, roll it up, get high with We do this all the time, it really ain't nothing that's just us vibing Radio to the max, see laid back, that's just my drive in I got a whole lot of time, you gon' hop in I'm the one she wanna ride with Get high with. We do this all the time. It really ain't nothing. That's just us vibing. Radio to the max. See laid back. That's just my drive in. Come on. I got a whole lot of time. Get yeah, hop in. Oh, when I need you. What's up? It's Thursday. <laughs> Little technical difficulties. You know how that go, man. How we, when you just when you working, when you going live. Um, six to eight. Heroes headquarters. HHPOV. Hip hop point of view. Mm. If you got it, and you got one point at them. Yeah. Bravo, Captain. Sounds good. Sounds good. Forever good. Welcome in our show. We're going to get right to our guest, man. We ain't got no time to be talking about, you know, no recaps or anything like that. Our first guest. Let's do it. Up, 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 up to the show. The HHPOV. Point at him. Yeah. So we got the, the Imperial Brothers. Imperial Brothers, come on down. The fellas. Imperial Brothers. Yeah. You ain't got no intro music for them? Come on, what's my name, brother? I mean, you're supposed to be playing it right there. Like, when they come to sit down. You supposed to be, they supposed to be walking, walking into they joint. That's you exactly know what, what they saying? doing. That's exactly what they doing. Oh, I guess, fellas, you can sit one on each yeah, side yeah. so that the one camera over here. Uh, I forgot the camera's down. Uh, we got to we got, we, we got to balance it out. We got to share the balance, man. That's what yeah, it is, yeah. man. Yeah. Just step on up the mics. The mics is loud, live. You know what I'm saying? You can get busy. Hold on. I got some of these bars. So I want to charge his phone now. So how you killing me? I need that. So how you killing me right now? <laughs> Hold on, man. All right, fellas. I guess you can start it off and uh, you know introduce yourselves first. You know what I mean for the people that's watching. Um, and where you, the Imperial Brothers? Where are you from? From the Bronx, Bronx, New York. This is Nesto. This mic on? This L? Yeah, yeah. That oh, mic's on. You, you can um lift it up. You can pull it out. You know what right. I'm saying? Whatever you got to do right. to adjust it so you can talk how you need to talk. Yeah, that's good. I'm yeah. L. BX. Yes. L. What's going on? You got it? We, we yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Situated? Good. We good. Yeah, we, we good. good. We good. We good. So tell us, brothers. Tell us. Tell us. Uh, uh, you know. First of all, the name. Let's Imperial. get to like the name, the Imperial Brothers. It's strong. Yeah. That's definitely strong. Um, where did that originate from? The way that happened was, we were sitting around 
I think it might have been 80, 1980. Uh-huh. We were sitting around trying to come up with a name. And um, we saw like a commercial and it said Imperial Butter or something. <laughs> and I said, well, nah, that's kind of corny. And then my other man said, well, Imperial means superior. So, and we all brothers. Yeah. So that's how the name came up. Dope. So it came from butter. <laughs> it came smooth. from smooth. butter. Smooth. Oh, that, smooth. That, that, yeah, that was the, that was the first one. Smooth spread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, was there any... Um, disagreements on this did everybody agree upon this at first we didn't we said that that's too corny so but i mean they were outnumbered was, people were outnumbered and we said all right let's just go with that it just sounds strong like you said so okay 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 and so you thought we talking numbers so how many how many individuals did it start off with and how many individuals is it now okay it started off with five yeah and um one of them went to prison right before the record deal came. Okay. So it was four of us. So it was four on all the records from the 80s. Yeah. And um, as time went on, contract issues with the label and, you know, we're working on an album. They didn't want to pay a certain amount of money. They didn't want to put a certain amount of records out. Yeah. And uh, we just decided, well, the two of them said, well, we don't want to do this anymore. Oh, wow. And they just left. So it resurfaced in 2000. I would say 2011. Yeah. When I got a call from overseas and they're do, doing a big compilation album with like Chuck D. Yeah. Public Enemy. And One of my favorites. Right. So they said, we want you guys on the album. So the producers from Sweden and yeah. uh, Denmark started sending music because, you know, it's overseas. They yeah, like all yeah. that, you know, right. electronic stuff. So that's how it really, it, it, Imperial came back. So. Wow. Took a little long break. And yeah, it's pretty dope that, you know, you're getting recognition over there, overseas after all this time. Yeah, no, yeah. because yeah, the thing about come. it is our records, after we got our deal, they went straight overseas. Yeah. Oh, okay. All the imports. So right. we started in the parks in the 80s, but the deal came and they said, we're taking you overseas. So we were just in UK yeah. and um, Germany, and that's where our music circulated. That's, that's great. And yeah. even to this day, like overseas is still like the yeah, best market. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they truly like hip-hop heads out there. Yeah, yeah. they are. I mean, it's different from the States, but usually, uh, uh, you know, out of the country, they respect hip-hop a little more than, um, than the States do. And that's, yeah, they, there's, no, there's no age limit. There's yeah. no, they don't care how you look. Right. You could literally be an 80-year-old man on stage and they'll treat you like Jay-Z out there. Because yeah. right, right, yeah. it's all about the music. Yeah. They don't yeah. care about, the, as long as the music is there, they right. respect that's the music. All, that's yeah. all that matters. That's Definitely. all that matters, man. One thing that always like <coughs> struck me about overseas, you know, uh, Germany, uh, Africa, Australia, Japan, all of that, is that like they can't speak the language English. I know, but they will know <laughs> yeah, yeah, a yeah. song exactly from yeah. the beginning to the end. Like the English is perfect there, right. and then right. it's right. once the song cut off, it's like hey, yeah. back to the language. Yeah. I always yeah. thought of that. I'm like, well, I don't understand that, but. It's working. Yeah. And it, it just shows, like, even, like, I guess back then we didn't understand and we didn't get it because, um, you know, it was just something fresh and we just loved to do it from the heart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, I want to get paid. But it was basically, you know, the passion or and also to, to be nice and, and, and to be recognized for right. the ability to get on the mic. But we never seen how big hip-hop was then nah, right. nah, we did. you know what i'm saying like no now we're yeah. we're just kind of realizing and I, I i don't even think that we still get it now you know what i'm saying i think that is just because i think it's because of the money it's so much money going on now that you you're really not paying attention you're not paying attention to the influence that hip-hop has had right. that it's having on the world right. now yeah. but it's like it, it, if hip-hop back then could teach people how to read, write, and count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it, it, what can it do now? Right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It, I see some videos of, uh, you, you, you'd be surprised of, of the countries that hip hop has influenced. Yes. And you see these guys, I don't know, I don't know what language, but I seen a dude, uh, what, like it was like two weeks ago. I think he was on Instagram or he was on Facebook or something. And the dude was getting busy, even though I didn't know the language. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I know he I was, know you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just sounds, it just yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, it sounds yeah. dope. He, and he, yeah. he, he was serious about yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, look what, look what, look. We was there from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Bronx River. So okay. we was there with the, I remember Bambada and, yeah. and Jazzy and Mario in the back of, of the center. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> playing, when we playing. Was the, um, when we was. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. All that. With the, with the, yeah, the funk. The, yeah. Where they have, the, it's pitch black out there. Yeah. And you see the uh, the little siren light goes yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. That's how you can see how many heads. Yeah, yeah. A million heads. <laughs> you just see, the, that light you just see the silhouettes and shouts yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah it's, uh, everybody yeah. outside now. <laughs> so <laughs> just to see, so just to see from that point to where it is now, and all the countries and everybody. everybody. Oh man, it's just it's just really big, man. It's, yeah. a, it's a major influence on the world. It's it's crazy too because like it's a um, you know, I always have the problem with like. I don't and and it's funny because nobody has ever said this like publicly out there, but I've mentioned it a couple of times is that like I love it so much that like it's like you're happy to see it global, mm -hmm. but at the same time you like keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because then you see people and and they're doing it, but they don't really understand it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're participating, but they have no idea like. Yeah really yeah. what it's about yeah you know exactly am i the only one that feels that way no you're not <laughs> okay thank you i just want to make sure man i want to make sure right on target yeah so uh let's get to the imperial brothers um you started uh okay so do you want to throw out the uh, the, the the age out there like when do you guys originally started you said 80s well i mean between the five of us mm -hmm. the ages range from 12 to 14 yeah Wow, and wow, y'all started young. Yeah. Oh, so, well, like, shoot. I mean, when we got the deal, we couldn't even go overseas yet to perform the records <laughs> because <laughs> our parents was like, you're not going nowhere. Yeah, right. And the, and the first record we had was, like, really big out there. So it was like, we can't go overseas. It's like, you're too young. Did what, you feel? Which one was it? Was it the We Come to Rock? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah did, you, did you feel some type of way? Like yeah, Damn right I did. I wanted to go, but we had to do local shows. Like, we would tour Philly and... yeah stuff like that but they were like you're not getting on a plane going nowhere so we were kind of stuck and, the, and and i guess like the label was paying the label was paying but they wasn't gonna pay for the parents to come exactly yeah wow yeah. that's that's oh, that, that, that was kind of that sucks it was it was messed up but at the same time it was working but i mean that's why today we still get deals because of that yeah so that's i'm not mad at all i mean most of the deals we get now are like germany Mm -hmm. uh, Switzerland, UK, so it's like it's working still, yeah. you know. So, so since you guys are uh, seasoned in this industry, and you you know you basically know what's going on, and you know um, the rights that you need to have mm -hmm. to keep it is. Do you guys uh, own own the publishing? Yeah, we do. Or anything like that? One hundred percent. Now we do. Yeah, but now we do. Yes. Back then in the eighties. We oh had yeah, no yeah. We had nobody had no clue. We had no like, clue. like they, they, they really got us with that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we got paid for shows and we got royalties, but, but when it came it. to publishing, yeah, we had no clue what that yeah. was. Like, and, and they don't feel bad because it's um 2018 and still, people still, still have happening. no idea yeah. what publishing. Still happening. They, they don't have no, they don't control their publishing. They have no idea yeah. what the publishing is. Yeah, this, this, uh, this guy, saying. um, he wants me to manage him, and he's like maybe 35. Yeah, and I was like, well, do you have ASCAP? He's like, what is that? <laughs> oh, and he's 35. Yeah. Wow. And I say he just doesn't know. Wow. Yeah. He's 35 and he doesn't yeah. know what ASCAP is. He didn't know. Oh, it's a pro I, I think your first um, um, engagement as a manager should have said, uh, this is not going to work out. Yeah. No nah, disrespect. I pretty much said, you got to learn the business first because they will get you. Yeah. And um, you know. now, personally, 35 years old, right? Um, I don't like to put an age on 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 your ability to rock the mic you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like it's 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 a younger it's a younger it's young man's game sport. now it's a young man you know sport. what i'm saying but well, that, i don't i don't i don't really agree with that because no. i believe that it, it the limelight you know the what, what, what the commercial yeah. side of hip-hop is is a young face yeah but the culture no the the, the culture the culture, the culture as a whole age, yeah the culture as a whole especially you could be any age especially you know you got cats that started when 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 hip-hop first started in the 70s yeah and you know they still around now yeah and they embrace the culture and look how big the culture has no gotten. but the the reason why i say that is because it's not basically the artists 
it's the 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 the, the consumer and the fans that's younger now. Yeah. So they yeah. don't want to hear. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear somebody older. And it's not, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. not your ability. Like I was saying, it's not your ability to, to rock the mic. Right. It's just that they don't want to hear you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they're they into a whole different um, They want to hear all now. the new stuff that's going yeah. on now. And, right. uh, you know, the Uzi verts and whatever yeah. you call and them. Then, and, 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 and the funny is, like, three years from now, they'll be old. Yeah. And people want, you know, the next the next fan base, next generation fan base, don't want to hear them. And they yeah, just probably don't. only 24, 25. Yeah. We don't want to hear no 6'9". That was a 6'9". I mean, yeah. the, the, bo- the bottom line is is if you hot, you hot. I don't care if you're 8 or 80 years old. If yeah. you hot, then you might as well keep... I now, mean, now well, check it when out. you're it, saying... Hold on, I, I, real quick. My, my fault for, for cutting you off, but your well, brother... You, like look at every other genre every other genre has you know you have yeah. some acts that come exactly, out yeah. you know some r&b or, or yeah. some country that you know you have a person with AIDS that comes yeah. out because their music is they, they ta- their talent yeah, talks more exactly. than than their, their parents and age yeah but um, and why hip-hop is the only culture that's only you know yeah, attracted know, to know. the young it's crowd a, but but you know and 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 um some conversations with um some very uh influential people in the industry and everything and they say, you know, that it's because of we don't respect our own culture. Yeah. And our, we don't respect our own culture. And this is why it it, it is like that. It's mm-hmm. kind of like it it's a, a separation, but also like well, we don't want to hear. We don't want to hear nothing from old school or from the veterans or anything because yeah, why classic. you don't and you know why the younger generation don't want to hear nothing from us from older people yeah? it's because it's like you don't have the money so if, if to them they're looking at you not driving this and you don't have a big house like that mm-hmm. you can't tell me nothing right you're right, not successful right. you know what i'm saying i don't want to hear anything from you you know so it, it goes back to the old saying money talk yeah you know but um, I, unfortunately but i only see that in the u.s yeah yeah. It's only in the U. Yo, how old is she? How does she look? Is yeah. he marketable? Every now and then, one or two will slip by, like for, like Big. Yeah. Big right. slipped by, you know what I mean? But Big was really he was that good, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I, I don't I never understood that. Like yo, why? What does it matter if the person is marketable if they're talented? That's, that's the key. And, and if they're talented, talented you that's, can that's, market around that talent. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you, you can exactly around their their talent, and that's the way it's supposed to be. It shouldn't. Why are you worried about yo if, if, if they're big or small, if they dark or yeah. long you, hair, short? You, come do on, you think, man. Do you yep. think? Do you think it comes from what they the so called what they call um, culture vultures? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do you think it's because they're just shortcutting? Like we don't have time to put in this work and do I all. I think of this that's stuff. what it is. You know why? You because. Know? A few years ago, this was like maybe 10 years ago, Jay, they interviewed Jay-Z and he said, I don't care if the, guy, the, the person can rap or not. Are they marketable? I'll write their rhymes for them. So right there, it was like, you don't wow. even care. Like, I'll write the rhymes for you. But are they marketable? Like, what do they look like? Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people don't want to invest their money in somebody who's older or looks older. Yeah. So... But it's always kind of been like that since yeah. the industry. Like I, I remember the first time I real the first time I really realized that was when they was talking about Eazy E, yeah. and when NWA came out. And this is back then, and it was an interview, and 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 it was like, and then I read something. It was like you know Eazy E is not really like seventeen or eighteen. You know he was like twenty four. So you know something like yeah. that. I was like, word. So I was like, why they do that? And then that's when I realized mm-hmm. it was the age like. If if you if you're young mm-hmm. and single, we can sell you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can't have you. You can't be in a relationship. You know, it's it was a lot of things, and I guess those are the blue the original blueprints that they kept. And mm-hmm. and I guess even to this day, even though like a lot of stuff doesn't exist no more, like um, street teams and yeah, and things yeah. of that nature doesn't exist no more. I think that's still one of the the uh, uh, the key things. At any meeting when they talk is that we got to have them like this mm. you know we got to have them like they like we're not changing our this rule yeah you know what i'm saying there's rules like and like I think what, that's but, what um, like right now we working with the uh, wu-tang coalition right mm-hmm. so we just did a record with Lil easy e he oh, sounds yeah. just like his yeah, father shout out to him. He's, so a, wow. he's, a, he's nice too I so like what him. they're doing is they're taking 
the older generation and the younger generation and putting them together on yeah. records just to see how the crowd would take with it. Yeah. So or the audience, but and the record is doing it sounds good. It's not out yet, but it sounds yeah. good. Now, do you um do you listen to somebody younger and hear them say, oh, you know what, I got to go back in the, in, 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 in the booth and uh, <laughs> mix up something new? Cause this kid think he hot. Let me let me let me take him out right now. Do I do that? Yeah. You know, it's like a learning process. I listen. Yeah. So like my son, he's he's a spitter. So I've been in the game 30, 40 years. I listen to him. I say, that was good. And I go back and I'll start right. Yeah. I'm not telling him. Yeah. He knows now, but you know, that that keeps me on my grind, like keep me on my toes and let me write some Yeah. You know? That's what's I don't know, but somebody like me, like for instance, you know, I I, I engage a lot in hip hop and, and and I want to hear mature rap. You know, yeah. I don't want to hear yeah. things that the little kids are going through. You know what I mean? Because right. me as a, as a man, you know, I have a family. I have, I have yeah. you know, values, morals, and all this. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, I, I want to hear like when, when, when Rick Ross and talks about that mature hip hop and, yeah. and yeah. you know, and all that. I want to hear that. Yeah. You know, look at the Jay Z, that 444 album. Yeah. yeah. It didn't win yeah. no Grammys or nothing like that, yeah. but right. it, it touched us somewhere because yeah. us being a little older, yeah. it, it, we relate to that. Yeah. And I guess that's why these kids can't really relate to those things that they talk about, and that's why they don't grasp it. That's why I, Slick Rick just said that. He said uh, when he turned 40, yeah. I think he's like 50 now, but he said, um, he said, are you going to make any new music? He said, the world is not ready to hear what a 40-year-old has to say. So right there, it told me, like, they just, wow. everybody thinks they don't care. So they're like, what am I going to make yeah. records for? What, but what you am I going to make talk it about? for us, though. We're yeah. still listening. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they forget that. They still have a fan base they of do, people yeah. that grew up with yeah. them, you know. Yeah. So I think you know it kind of, it, it's it's funny, man. I really think that like, I think we as um, you know the the born into the culture. Mm-hmm. I would I like to say, you know, what I'm saying there's people in the culture by affiliation, yeah. you know. And yeah. but I think us who was born in the culture. I think we really need to like start um some way somehow like uh boycotting in a way where like we need to we need to speak for this culture and not you just because you you know you're like journalists and things mm-hmm. there's a lot of you know media journalists they're writing they're writing about the culture but you have no idea you just got into it like 2 years ago yeah. because of the hype mm-hmm. and who are yeah. you to tell somebody like this is what hip hop is, yeah. you know, and I think some some way somehow we need to figure out a way where we can kind of stop that yeah. and uh, either set up our own platforms or things and 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 just. But the the younger generation they don't want to hear nothing the older generation got to say. They I don't I, I no I I truly believe that I know that's a fact, but I think I think for the record and for the history books and everything I think because at the end of the day. Um, 20 years from now, what what would hip hop be recognized for? Is it going to be recognized for what's going on right then at that moment, or will it be recognized for the past history? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is this what's going on now? Is it really hip hop? See, that's the one of the it's issues, rap. Which one of the issues I have. Because hip hop is hip hip hop is one thing. Yeah. Is a gun, you know, a genre. But now, just like, just like, uh, just like when 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 Little John came out with his style yeah. of music, he called it crunk music. He yeah. didn't call it hip hop. Yeah, he called it crunk. So he had a name for it. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind the music that goes on today, but come up with a, another name yeah, besides yeah. hip hop. Because you make you 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 kind of blemish. <clears throat> right, what was right, built. right, yeah. right. You, blemish you come in built. and just screaming on yeah, a song, yeah. and people that and, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. And it's, and it's not what hip hop is. Exactly. You got to come up with another name. That's why I don't yeah. like the the, the the certain awards and all that. They put everything in hip hop. Yeah, yeah. They put they put a singer in hip hop, and it's like that's isn't that R and B? Yeah, like, yeah. Just, how, because, how you that? just yeah. because he's affiliated yeah. with some rappers yeah. or something, or he did a song with a rapper, it's it's right. hip hop. And now, how, do you, how do you feel about a a, a R and B singer on a hip hop like a boom bap beat? Do you feel like that's hip hop or no? Nah, no, nah, I feel like do I feel it's hip hop? Yeah. Would you there, consider hip hop? There, there's um, there's no name for that 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 type of music. There's they just call it uh, what R and B hip hop. 
but uh, there's not a name for it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, love like well, Biggie, like I love all of that. I love all of that. I love all of that. Diddy, Diddy and Mary J said, what, what was it, Um, Hip Hop Soul? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hip Hop Soul. Hip Hop Soul. Yeah. Well, that's a nice okay. name. So yeah, yeah, I think yeah, we need yeah. to go back to that yeah. Hip-hop soul. because they that's originated yeah. that, like that one, and I think we just need to go back to that one. Hip hop, you know. so yeah, but I love all of that. Any anybody that's, I mean, even yeah, vice works. versa, somebody, a, a hip hop artist that took an old R and B beat is, it still sounds yeah. all that. All but you, but me. you got very few artists of today that can really get on something soulful, right? And make it and make it yeah. mean something to you, you know. And I think, like I said, I think because it's so, I think it's because the money is coming in so much, like there is no interest in the craft. Yeah. It's just yeah. let me just do something. Mm-hmm. Where I can get paid, and that's it, you know, and and that's why like, I've always said like, you know, rock and roll is kind of different, because right to do rock and roll, you got to know how to play an instrument, right? To the to a degree, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like somebody got to know how to play the drums, somebody yeah. got to know how to play the guitar. So you, you can't shortcut, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? You can't right. you can't shortcut that art, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, man. I mean, coming from producers, you know, chop up some music, chop up a sample. That, that, that kind of like you know takes some skill. There. No, it Especially does take skills. No, MPC I'm not. I'm not knocking that. But <laughs> but then again, but then again, yeah. and you gotta know your tempo. But you then again, know your, your but then again, and, we've there's conversations that's always been made with producers and beat makers. There's difference. Well, right. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. You mm-hmm. know, you got some guys that can make a beat, but they can't produce mm-hmm. a song. Right. Yeah, that's you know cool. what I'm saying. Right. So yeah. there is a difference. That's yeah. like a, you know? uh, shout out to Eda Fifth. That's like, right, what's going on? What's up, man? Who's next though? Right here. Who's How are you? All right, all right. So it's like, like, um, there's a lot of dudes on the corner that will spit the lights out of anybody, yeah. but can't write a song. Yeah, it's on the same level. You, you know, you see some guys, you'd be like, yeah. and some of them have deals. They got yeah. deals, and you'd be like, these songs are horrible, man. <laughs> but the yeah. dude. Freestyle is ill, you know. Yeah. So it's on the same. It's on the same page as. as so as that, that. for the um for the show y'all got coming up, right? Right. How how did y'all get selected for that show? Well, with um Eric King, Monopoly Records, mm-hmm. he's been throwing this thing called a Golden Era of Hip Hop mm-hmm. for like seven years. Oh wow! So like about two or three years ago, he says I'm gonna put you guys on the show, mm-hmm. but he's just got a crazy lineup every year. Mm-hmm. So we were going to be on the last show, but then something happened with the uh, sponsorships or whatever. So he said, all right, I'm going to put you all on this show. Mm-hmm. So that's that's going down tomorrow. Yeah, that's but it. Congrats to that. That's a big deal, man. I got a, I got a big lineup. Yeah, which, uh, yeah, yeah. But, mm-hmm. but what it was, he we would post like on, online, we would post music. We would always post music and he'll put a like on it. And he'd be like, yo, what are y'all guys doing? Y'all got some good music, this mm-hmm. and that. And then that's how it came about where mm-hmm. he would, because mm-hmm. we didn't know him, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So he came, he was like, yo, I'm a promoter, and mm-hmm. I'm going to get y'all on a couple of my shows. And mm-hmm. that's did how you, it originally came Did out. you take him serious the first first time? No, <laughs> I, I took him serious because um I heard about him before. Okay. So a lot of my friends that been on his show before, they told me. Oh. So I said, all right, well, you know, we'll get on one of them shows one day and... So y'all didn't even. So it's not like y'all y'all sent y'all stuff to him. Nah, he just nah. saw it. That's yeah. dope. He came that's to them. Dope. Yeah. yeah. He came yeah. to them. That's super yeah. dope. Yeah. He never sent him one song. He never sent him. I'm one a, song. I'm upset that they're not excited like that. They're just sitting here talking <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So you like know, it's nothing, yeah. right? It's like, yeah, we got the show. You know, and you know, it's, it's you know, and that's it. That's what it is. We they no was, excitement. They, they were like this, you know, Coachella. <laughs> these dudes, so, so much going on, you know. We just yeah. decided to give him a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come real, check, though, check us out. SOBs Friday night. What's that? The the sixteenth. Yeah. Friday night, sixteenth. It's, it's going down. It's going oh, down. Right. 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 Congratulations, man. Imperial hey, hey. Brothers, Kooji Rap, Slick Rick, uh, yeah. Yo Yo, Black yeah. Poet. Yeah. Yeah. So so I, I okay. So now that you're talking about it, I kind of heard about it like two years ago. I'm not too sure. And I think okay. last year they had like Big Daddy Kane, Public Enemy or something, or it was a year I think last year was on that. or something. It was? Yeah, I think so. I think so because I kind of seen something like a Golden Era. Yeah, I was it. like, yo, yeah. like that's crazy. Yeah. I seen like thirty artists. I was like, yeah, yeah, damn, yeah. like yeah. it's a good what, is title a two, too. I like is this. Is this a two day concert, bro? Because yeah, you know yeah. you can't do all of that in yeah, one day. Like, yeah, I like the title, man. So here's here's one thing. Before we go, we got to get into our game, right? You know when we when we post the job joint. A seasoned veteran, you know, hip hop purist. 
this is how hip hop has evolved, right? You know what I mean? Now we got an official game. It's called um, Rhyme Antics, right? And it's kind of supposed to work on your vocab, work on your lyrical right. game. All right, so <laughs> that's the look at me like I ain't come for all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Like, yo, I came here to talk about my show <laughs> and what we got going on. I got something to do not tomorrow. To, I'm, I'm, I'm rehearsing for tomorrow. Not right? to be testing my skills on some MC joint. You know what I'm so, saying? So, very, very, very simple. This is how the game works, right? It's gonna be a sentence, and the last word of that sentence, right, is the word we have to rhyme, right? So if it would be like, I'm here with Nesto. Um, he likes Presto. to eat food. That is called pesto. You know what I mean? And you got to keep going. And you pass the mic around, and there's a time limit. You know so, what I mean? but basically, because they're seasoned, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, is it seasoned better? Than, yeah, I, um, I like veterans. I like veterans. Veteran? veterans. Mm. Either or. School, Which one? You don't want to hear old school though. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does. we don't say old school well, here. We it's, say it's, see, Broncos, more, uh, uh, vintage. We say classic, man. Classic. Well, they, they started to say true it, school. So. True school. True school. Yeah. True school yeah. Classic. We don't say old school. We don't, there's no such thing. There's um, no such thing. We don't call like they don't see thing. art and be like that's old school art, right. right? You don't call Picasso old school art. You know what I mean? Right. So I've let's, let's get with it. I've never seen Picasso get on the mic though either. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's. But moving on. So what you were saying, bro? I was going to say that because the um. You're because saying, they're bro. veterans, I think that they're gonna use the words mm -hmm. the way that they're supposed to use more than the artists of today. I, I feel like rappers, MCs have a automatic glitch of playing with words with the, and wordplay, yeah. right? Word so play. the way like us regular non-artists, we would use it specifically like the word is, is said and sound. But you guys, I would you know play with the sounds yeah. and pronunciations. That's the gift. So we're gonna go with there's three categories: easy, intermediate, and intellectual. All right. You guys look like intellectuals to me. But okay. what, what would y'all pick? I would. Well, I would want to do a round first to make sure I know what's going on. Oh, yeah. See, see, you see what that's what yeah. veterans do. I want to see what it's like. I'm not gonna yeah. jump. I ain't gonna I'm not gonna just, just sign the like deal. I'm not going gonna sign on. the deal. Any exactly. deal you give me. Sign. <laughs> so take the red one out. Take a red one. Camera. Yeah. Okay. So um, pass that. The the, the red one. So that would be the first um, sentence. Pass me okay. a drink, uh -huh. and so it would be like, "Pass me a drink." What would you What would you do with that? So I would have to. You got to rhyme the your word. Your last words got to rhyme with this. A right? sentence with. But the it last doesn't word. have to be "pass me." No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, it could be any any, any yeah. particular sentence. But that that last word that you're gonna use just has to rhyme with drink. So who's gonna say "pass me a drink"? That's how you're gonna start it off. So you'd be so like the first. The first sentence is "pass me a drink." And then he would that he would say that. Oh, so that. I'm saying that he would rhyme to what yeah, I just said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rhyme to what you said. I'm gonna so say pass, pass me, a, me drink. a drink, and I'd be like, "Yo, my boat sinked." Yeah. Then he passed the mic yeah. to him. Pass yeah. the mic to me. Yeah. Pass and it'd be still on the same yeah. drink. Yeah. 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 Same on the ink. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. I got you. All right. So All put right. that one away. We're gonna pick another red one. And you gotta hold the mic though. You gotta hold that little. Uh, is they Mike, want the. Bravo they got the real play, mic. Did Bravo play before? Did Bravo? They got the real mic, man. Bravo. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. So, so now, um, well, you okay? You ready? Uh, who's gonna go first? Oh, it's up to you. You're right there. We got this. I ate and choked. Oh, I was supposed to say that first. Yeah. Yeah. Say you that, can start, say start that with, with that. That's a great quote. I gotta hold a mic and do that too. You got pass it. Yeah. You got pass it. I can't. I can't he said, "I, the man, I ain't with this mic, man. That's I'm with that quote. mic." Um, everything is dope that I wrote. Okay, pass oh, it to man. pass it to Rob. Rob, just put it down now. Um, the umbrellas I use is tote. Okay. Um, some people said I was the greatest, but I I say I'm the goat. Uh, I'm gonna keep it funky. I'm on a diet, but I would love a float. Time running. Every ship that I, uh, <laughs> not shit, ship. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never, s we'll, we'll <laughs> sink and never float. Okay, okay. I said float. No, I should have said it the other way around. Yeah, but that, it was a different float. It was a different float. The last dude that I battled had a stroke. Oh. <laughs> For a pause right there. So it was the word was quote. So right? you said stroke. That's he said it. stroke. So see what rappers do? Let me see. Let me talk to our judge. Because so it sounds. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he said rhyme. That, that don't that, rhyme. 
See, that's Stroke and quote, don't rhyme. Then, no, see, that's how rhyme. rappers do it, right? They, they fool you. <laughs> <laughs> they fool you. <laughs> He's doing he the new they, school stuff. He said they no. fool you. He wow. Said wow. wow. <laughs> like new school stuff, see? Let's do one more. Let's do one oh, more. Oh, man. Let's do one more. Where are we going to medium? All right, go to medium. Go to medium. It's go the medium. oak. It's, that's what it is. It's the oak. <laughs> yeah, oak. trying to do like they do. Thought I could get away with it. That's a shame. Okay. That's a shame. Start that off. Who's next? Oh, you got this dude is lame. This dude is lame. Okay. Oh no, not the mic, not the car. Oh, oh damn. I'm Y'all over here playing games. Okay. <laughs> um, we not one in the same. Let's try to get some fame. Okay. That show tomorrow I'm on is gonna be insane. Ooh. Mm. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop the clock. Hold the clock. Insane. And what was the quote? What was the what was the word? What was that was the right. Shame. Shame. Oh, what do you think, Judge? Uh, what do you think, Judge? No. no. He said, "Oh, it's not the same." He said, "Oh, it's not the same." Oh, it's not. No, we just having fun with it. You know what I mean? But these are the kind of games that you know it could be eight to eighty. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's, it's it's about but getting it your skills. But it does rhyme, up. though. That's what it, 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 it rhymes, rhyme, but it, it doesn't rhyme. rhyme. It does but rhyme. you have to go with the. So basically, it's the A M E. You have to go with. Yeah. So, so, card has so these are qua- he- these are qualifying words. Okay. Aim, came, fame, frame, lame, maim, name, tame, yeah, they get became the, they get the point. inflamed. He said he's gonna read every single. One. Yeah, I was on my way. If he wasn't out, I was gonna be on my way out then. Cause nah, I, cause I'm like, cause my next one was yo, the, them three chicks we ran the train. <laughs> <laughs> See, but, but here's the thing: it depends on your judge. Right, you know right, I mean? right. If your yeah. judge is like lenient, if he's real strict, yeah. Right? You know I mean? But you gotta a have rapper, a. I think if the judge is a rapper. He's like, yeah. it's all good. Yeah, you, know you need it, right. but you need a strict judge though. So we got a strict judge over there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. Imperial yeah. Brothers, tell us how they get in contact with y'all. Um, what's coming up next? <clears throat> um, Imperial Brothers at Gmail, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, he runs a Twitter. Um, we got the Nesto. We got the. Imperial at, at uh, gmail dot com. Imperial yeah. Bros at gmail dot com. Yeah. Nesto, at Nesto's email at gmail dot com. We got the uh, the new single with uh, DJ Wiz off of Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. Mm. Um, he got a compilation CD called "Sick of Being Overlooked." Mm. The, it's the new single with the suspects called "Man Up." Mm. That was just released what last month? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a new magazine out called uh, Grinders Twenty Four Seven. That just came out. So. We have an interview in that magazine just dropped last week. Right. So we have about four singles coming out, but like Lil Easy E and a few other uh, artists. From and we got a couple of major deals we're working on. We ain't gonna really speak on right now, but we got a couple of things in the works and just working, man. Let's do yeah. it, man. Let's do it, man. Congratulations, Congratulations to Imperial going Brothers. Going Point at them. <laughs> no uh, doubt, no doubt. We're gonna take some pictures. We're gonna take some pictures, do some promos. All right, here we All go. Right. There it is.
drink. Let's ask before you pour. Have we been through this before? Yo, I love the feeling of being drunk. Keep a bottle up in my trunk. Dribble and shot after shot. Feeling like I'm about to dump. I drink at work, I drink at class. Getting real high without the grass. I'm the one you'll see with an empty glass. I drink by taking a photograph. Yo, you drink every day? Yes, absolutely. Don't stop even though I'm feeling woozy. I even had shots at jury duty. I drink while cleaning my baby dookie. I take a shot while at the dentist. Take a shot before I'm sentenced. I just call Earl, so you think I'm finished? And I'll take another shot while the room is spinning. Tent wonder girl A work of incredible uh, genius uh, yeah. Yeah. On that girl like now she blowing up my foji for pictures of forty forties, telling me how she want me and how she gets so wet for me. She know it's on when I see her. I'm cutting up like Shinobi, getting off on the fourth floor as soon as I walk in close. Kissing on her neck, she rubbing on my chest. I Yeah, back in business. Yeah. With the Imperial Brothers. Bang. Wait for our our um our footage from that show. It's gonna be epic. Are you are you gonna be able to make that show, bro? Yeah. Are you gonna be make, able to make that show to S O B tomorrow? Okay. All right. Respect that. Big fella, uh, come on in. Come in, have a seat, man. I'm actually, uh, the reason why, mm-hmm. uh, shout out to Fader Knights. Mm-hmm. I'm uh slide through Fader Knights because uh, 
I got to set up Desi. Desi celebrating her little 18th birthday with them. Mm-hmm. So it should be cool. She's super excited. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny, too? Mm-hmm. Faded Nights is doing it because um, they did uh, Rasheen's daughter, her friend, a friend of theirs. Oh, uh, no. The after it was the thing after the party guys, for a like, prom last year. like a crazy yeah. name. And she mentioned them. I said, oh, yeah, you know Fade Nights? She said, yeah. I said, oh, Tell those are the that, homies. Yeah. So they're doing their thing. Shout yeah, out to Fade Nights, man. Nights, they're man. making tomorrow, moves out here, man. Tomorrow, tomorrow we all want to go uh, Mama Juana Cafe Dykeman. But uh, let's get right to this. Let's get right to this. Mike, yeah. we, we see Nasty Mike, but it's Mike Can't Dream. Mike Can't Dream. You know what I mean? He's um he's gotten a little bit cleaner, you know what I mean, based on <laughs> corporate sponsors and all that. <laughs> ask, ask him to clean it up. So yeah, yeah. you got you got a, you got a couple of tracks, right? What's my name, brother? Okay, music music director Sal. <laughs> I don't get it. I that's that's his it. name. You know, you know what's no, funny. no, no. It's music director Sal. Yeah. Let's get into some real quick. You know what's funny? You always say you you ask him about the track and he goes, "Yo, that's what I do." But it's like <laughs> he never plays it until you say something. You thought you thought he was as soon as he walked in the room, yeah. play something. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I would do. Hey, uh, uh, Mike, quick question: mm-hmm. What song was playing when you got when you get on? Oh, the song that was playing what on right I, now was Wall Street on. Lights, mm-hmm. called Wall Street Lights, featuring my man KQ, Dream City. Shout out to Dream City. Shout okay. out to my man Kid Q, gotcha, doing big gotcha. things, doing big things. And another, yeah. and one more question: mm-hmm. Was that your song playing when you walked in? Oh yeah, it was my song playing. Okay, next. Mm. <laughs> oh wow! He, listen, I'm gonna start recording this guy because he <laughs> think he's, he thinks guys. Yo, let's get into the show, man. We're gonna save that for another he's show. Guys. We'll save that for another show <laughs> called. Let's hear this out. Let's hear this out. Dream City. Let's get to it. Dream City. Raise the volume a little bit. You got, you got the view on it. Shining so bright, Wall Street lights shining so bright, Wall Street lights shining so bright, shining my life. Uh, uh, the light show coming from a side. Uh, the stock machine's just gonna rise. MCD and KQ on the mic. Woo, 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 whoa. Hey, Wall Street lights. Hey, Broadway lights shining so bright. Yeah, they bright. See my future when you look into the light. See me at the top when you look into my eyes. Line in the jungle with smile. I need it. Ice out, rolling. Yeah, I'm on that type of time. Hey, hey. They didn't care about me. Hey, now they do. Mm. Hey, I was broken down. Hey, now good. Now good. In the studio. Took it up with the crew. With the crew. Wall Street lights is something not in the line I had to get it. Saw the light and they did not. That's why they down. And now I'm high. That's why they pass. And I'm a god. Hey. But police still get a charge. Just a young black man who never been high. Fucking balls. Mother said I'm in a prophecy That's about to unfold About to shine like gold Big mansion just call home Spend your money but let it live on Let it grow strong Spend money when I'm gone Cause the kids gotta be safe I like the ad lib I like that Hey You know what I'm saying Quiet Yeah I like the ad libs that's tough, man. Mike yeah. and Dream. What's, what's the name of that joint again? Uh, the name of it is called Wall Street Lights. Wall Street Lights. Now, Street. with it, okay. how did that title come? Got Wall you know, Street come Lights. So, I started when I was starting making the mu- mm-hmm. started making my music for the EP that that's on. Mm-hmm. EP is called Light in the Dark. Mm-hmm. I heard the I heard the beat and I was like, okay, this sounds like some like uh, it's not like in the hood kind of thing, but it's mm-hmm. like you fancied. It's mm-hmm. like you made it. It's mm-hmm. like the dream is there. And when I thought of it, I, it just came right away. We was in the studio making another project, and it was like Wall Street Lights. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, it's, it's actually going together. Mm-hmm. And then as I'm writing the lyrics, like one of the parts, I say, oh, I think one of the guys that got me one of the shows. Shout out to CJ Partman, man, mm-hmm. at Hometown Hustle, Hometown Heroes. And like I say, oh, CJ, thank you. You made my invest just booth. And I was like, oh. Um, like I say, one of the lines saying how I opened up for Dave East, and I was just like, "Yeah, this sounds like a wall. It's like Wall Street lights shining so bright. My life is mm. just so you feel like feel like it's opening up now. Yeah, every it's been crazy. How did how did you get the um open for Dave East? So again, like I, I know my man CJ, we're both from Yonkers, mm-hmm. New York, and 
Um, he put it on his page, like he's been working with promoters and everything. Shout out to Mike the Plug also for giving me the opportunity. Shout out to Global House Entertainment, you know. And um, he told me he was like, "Yo, I got a four. I got like four slots left. I was a call. We could work it out. You can give me half, and you give the other half." I told him right away. I was like, "Bro, you send me the contract. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have everything ready. <laughs> I don't make no questions." I was like, "This is my favorite artist right now. The new one of the newest ones this is my favorite artist." And I wasn't playing around. And when I went to sign the contract, we were walking down. And he was—he just told me, frankly, there were five guys that were in front of you. And basically he said, none of them had movement. But you, you came off the magazine. You had an interview already. You already had three shows in the city for um, Front Page Entertainment. You already had all that going. Why not get you on this? You deserve it. And I appreciate everything because I work my butt off all the time. Yeah. And I'm glad I got uh, to meet. I got to open for him and also Fresher. Those guys were amazing. So, how, how was your your preparation? Like, were you did you have like a month to prepare to rehearse? So I had like a I had like a month to, month to prepare, and also I had shows going into the. So it was like the show was in January January six. Mm-hmm. Before that, I had two shows already in December going into 2018. So it was a lot of preparation, and I basically took it as like a playoff game in basketball basically Mm -hmm. i was just like all right i'm not gonna embarrass myself i'm like this is my first real step out into the spotlight Mm -hmm. and i was like i'm not gonna make a fool out of myself i'm like i work too hard Mm -hmm. and i'm like my first big show was with my idol Mm -hmm. and one of the best up-and-coming rappers in the game right now out of new york so i'm Mm -hmm. like why why wouldn't i take this so seriously like a playoff game so Mm -hmm. like from weeks and months Mm -hmm. I went to, I just practiced the songs I wanted to do. Mm. I was making this song, as a matter of fact, mm. and I was like, nah, I don't want to re- I don't want to do this yet. I'm like, nah, we got to save it for, for uh, like a little bit after in 2018. So you didn't perform that? No, I didn't perform this, mm. but I performed one of my other hit singles out on Apple Music called More Than Just Hype. Mm. That was a big hit. Mm. And once mm. I got there, mm-hmm. I just, I blacked out. Mm. I just went focused in mm. and it was amazing. Like I was all the promoters and mm. all the artists that were there they said you were mm. amazing mm. we're proud of you yeah i talked to fresher like he was coming after his performance he was like yo i heard about your performance after i was like yo keep doing your thing man mm. like i got my eye on you and then like so i wasn't you, you were before him or after him i was before them okay, i was before okay, them okay. so like fresher was the first artist to come in mm. and everything i was like i'll ask for a picture and everything whatever mm. and then when he came back i said congratulations yo dope show and he was like like, as I was leaving, he grabbed me by the shoulder. He was like, yo, bro, I heard about your performance. Mm-hmm. And they showed me some clips. Like, you really got something going. Like, don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. And I appreciate it heavily. That's a good homage right there, man. <laughs> shout to, shout to, so, um, Mike, we got, um, this is um, Chubbs, For The Money, coming out. Um, What's up, man? Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Good, man. Nice check, to meet you. Check that mic out. Yeah. This is an artist. He was telling, I don't want to get the name wrong. Chubbs, Chubbs what's, how you say the name? For The Money. For, no, his his his. Oh, my man, Montro four five. Montro four five. Yeah, yeah. Montro four five. I gotta get my. You know, can, we, gotta can, roll we it. Just, can we say four five? Four five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so Montro is monster. Yeah. Is monster. I, in English? I haven't had enough sleep to pronounce that <laughs> let, right I, now. I, I let I let him I let him answer that. I let yeah. him introduce himself. Okay. Yeah. No one yeah. Do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Mm. Yeah, so I'm Montro four five. What's mm-hmm. up, man? Everything good? How y'all feeling today? We good. We good. We alive. We moving. So so. What what one of the things we wanna we wanna um talk about is Mike and Dream. Your 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 sound is straight hip hop. Yeah. Straight hip hop. Um Chubbs is diving into the comedian, you know, spotlight right now. Um and Mongo Four Five. Is it good. is it reggae thong? Is he doing reggae thong? Is I he do I do hip hop. Hip hop trapping español. Mm. Spaniel, you know. I was waiting. I was waiting for that. I was <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> he just threw yeah, it in yeah, at yeah. the end, like yeah, hip hop, hip hop, trap. Hip hop, trap. <laughs> the sabe, the sabe. Trap, 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 trap. En español, en español. But you know, you give it that New York style. I'm from New York. I'm from okay. the Bronx. Okay. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I gotta so, jazz it up a that's, little. That's yeah, beautiful. yeah. So we got, we got a, um, we got. Dave, you want to check? Dave, see what he's, he's breaking some stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> So we want to get into some questions that all y'all can get into, right? Yeah, so yeah, okay. when I'll start with you and go, you, you, can, you can close out, right? Since you open for fresh, you're going to close for us. Yeah. <laughs> so Montro, yeah. how, did, um, how, did, right. how did you know that what you was doing or who told you what you was doing was popping? Was 
Bobbins? Yeah. The like, block. The, the block told me it was good. Oh, okay. man. You know what I mean? That's the cold sign ride. Right My bro's on the so block, yeah. you know? <laughs> now, now, do you do you, do you kind of like sometimes, you know, how the, the block, they bias. You know what I mean? Did you feel like, you know, they, these are my boys is just saying it's, it's cool because they nah, my brothers? Nah, nah, nah. My black ain't like that. If you mm. whack, you whack. <laughs> <laughs> They'll tell you straight They'll up. They'll tell you straight up. Yo, keep on and doing what you do, but just don't rap in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. We're going we gonna to be wishing you from over here. Yeah, especially, the especially for the money's around. Yeah. They yeah. don't play around. <laughs> I, 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 give, I, I, I let them know. I let them know from the top. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I like, a, I like a, lot of, a lot of underground music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I go with the underdog most of the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The artist is not getting no love. That's who I like to listen to. That's yeah. what's up, too. But um, but not to brag, though, man. I'm Not because my man's here. Not because that's my man. <laughs> but the nigga been doing this since before mm-hmm. this Spanish trap was really out. Like, mm-hmm. I remember being 13 years old with him in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And he's spitting that shit when nobody... And I'm like, yo, bro, they not doing reggaeton like that. Like, mm-hmm. it was reggaeton at yeah, that time. Yeah. At the so time. they not yeah. doing reggaeton like that, bro. Like, what are you... You, and he's like, yo, y'all freestyling, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody else is freestyling, so why I can't do it this way? Mm. And then now look where it become, you know They used what to saying? be freestyling I mean, in English, feel me? Yeah, yeah. used to do it in Spanish. <laughs> that's so dope, man. That's, that's why we do the show, too, because we got to show that global impact. So, Chubbs, for the money, how, when did you feel like, you know what, this this comedy thing is something I should really p- take some time? Uh, well, me, I've always been a, you know what I'm saying, I've always been a funny dude, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The life of the, the life of the party when mm-hmm. I come in, you know what I'm saying. I always crack jokes. Mm-hmm. Never want to see people down. Okay, so, you know yeah. what I'm saying. If my Absolutely. niggas is down, I'm always trying to, you know what I mean. That's a mm-hmm. fact. Always trying to hype it up. Mm-hmm. I, I started doing the um the IG joints a while back with mm-hmm. my with my wife. You know, shout out to my wife, mm-hmm. Miss For the Money. Mm-hmm. I started, Miss For the Money. <laughs> yeah, Miss For the Money. I started doing um I started doing the comedy stuff with her, just going back and forth, and mm-hmm. then. From there, it just clicked off, but the mm-hmm. comedy stuff just been, you know, just been me forever. You know okay, so that's always been you. They just, yeah. they just, just recognize it now. Yeah. Now yeah. they just starting to give me a little bit of love. For okay, me, you know what <laughs> all right. Uh, at first, it was just a block. Yeah, at first, it was a block. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure the the, the the Dave East thing isn't the pinnacle, but when mm. did you feel like, you know what, Mike and Dream, I got something? So I originally started making music in 2012, like my sophomore year of high school. First off, shout out to Impact the Tribe, mm. family, friends, mm. longtime friends. Um, ironically, I was going through a breakup, and I was like, yo, I just got to get this out. So I called my mans, and I was like, yo, can I go to the studio with you? I just need to lay a song out. Mm. Mind you, I thought I could sing at the time. Obviously, oh, so my singing, singing career. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The singing career didn't, didn't block, go well. Yeah, the block. Yeah, the block. Yeah, the block, yeah, the block, out, right? yeah, the block, <laughs> the block didn't go with that one. <laughs> but um, so at the time, I was just it was just all good fun because mm-hmm. I was more focused on mm-hmm. basketball and football because I was an athlete. That's mm-hmm. how I was gr- brought up yeah. on the block and everything. And then 2015, before I graduated high school, I was like, you know what? Let me get back into it. And I got to shout out my brother for that. And a couple other friends, and especially my cousins, Amanda, Melissa. Mm-hmm. And, like, we just started, I just started rhyming a little bit, and I heard a little difference in my voice. My voice was deeper. Mm-hmm. And to one day, my brother started saying something on me, trying to, like, record on my computer. He's like, MCD on the track. I was like, wait. I was like, that's right. That sounds good. MCD. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, Mike can dream. To now, um, it's like, I feel like so many things are happening so fast now. It went from just in the house, mm. chilling with a couple friends. Now it's like I'm performing in New York City. I'm performing in Staten Island. I'm performing in Jersey this Sunday. I'm getting the chance to be on the radio with you guys mm. and vice versa. It's like I never thought it would happen because I went through a couple of years where it wasn't working out. Mm. But, like, guys like my engineer, Skywalker Dutch, shout out to Skywalker Dutch mm-hmm. and Guala Music mm-hmm. Group. Mm-hmm. I, that's where I first heard you guys. Those are the, that's shout the team out. right there. Yep. Yeah, big that's brother. My, shout he, out to Barry. That's my, and they, they kept it real with me. He mm-hmm. was like, you got to, you just got to work. And I realized, you got like, in everything in life, you just got to work at it. Mm-hmm. And I feel that's what 
is missing a lot, especially in this day and age. Like my friends tell me now, not because they're biased, because they'll tell me if it's whack, it's whack. My best friend Christina, she told me from Jump Street when I started, I was trash. Mm-hmm. But now it's like I have respectable music. It's because I worked on my craft so hard and I wanted it so bad and I still want it so bad. So now we're looking at let's fast forward, fast forward. So Chubbs, what's what's kind of like where you want to go? What's what's the part of your life where you like, OK, for the money is doing what? Well, well, it's two things, because mm-hmm. for the money started off. Like, I'm from Fordham, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, um, Fordham Money started as a clothing line, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? These shirts is mine, the family joints, mm-hmm. I got a lot of different shit. Mm-hmm. So, I started off with the Fordham Money as it being a clothing line. So, mm-hmm. I didn't want it to be Fordham Money, because mm-hmm. if you're not from Fordham, you're not going to want to support. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I broke it down, <laughs> and I put it F-O-R, you know, underscore D-H-A, underscore money, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So... I figured that's what that's something that I wanted to run with because mm-hmm. what better than that, man? What you work for? You work yeah. hard for the what? For the money. Oh, for the money. You <laughs> grind for the money, hustle yeah. for the money, trap for the money. Whatever yeah. you do is yeah. at the end of the day is that's for the, the money. money. Politics is for the money. Yeah. Everything for is the for money. the money. Everybody could relate. So I started running with that and then now, you know, with the comedy joint, I mm-hmm. just wanna branch both of them together. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wanna bring that for the money brand with the clothing mm-hmm. into the comedy and just Sky's the limit, man. Yeah, I see the hats. I see the hats with the logo. <laughs> that. For the laughter, yeah. Wherever yeah, it takes yeah. me, man. Wherever it takes me, man. That's that four or five. So he said since 13, you was rocking out. Uh, we, we're not going to, you know, ask about ages. But yeah. how, <laughs> how, what was your what was your ultimate situation where you like, I, I'm need, I'm rocking till I get this. So I'm rocking till I'm in a situation where I'm doing what? I just what? love music. So I can't say I'm going to rock to certain Oh, wow. Time. I That's like deep. music, you know what I mean? If it brings money in, it brings it in. If it don't, mm-hmm. I work, so I don't get money from the music right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you, know what you, mean? you can still, fact. Yeah. 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 but you would love, but you would love to get paid. I for would something love to that, get every artist. I think would love to get paid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every Anything artist, but if you do it for the love, it's even better. You know what I mean? It was something that was just. It just grew. They say when you do something for the love. For the love, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, you end up, the money comes, man. Yeah, you know it eventually comes. Money you comes. Know? Yeah, no, no, money I'm comes. trying to do for it. the money, nah. for the love. Nah. Nah. For the love. Yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then when he leave, he'll do it for her. <laughs> but like I say, like, you know what I mean? I would do music even if, like, I'll still have a studio in my crib. Mm. Just, to, just to mess around. It's a hobby. Like, we play ball, we play football. Music is like that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> to me. That's what's up. So, all right, Mike and Dream, we're going to go with inspirations. Like, right? who's some of the people that you look at and still look to to kind of sharpen your game? I'm going to be honest. Like, if, to all my family and friends, I'm the weird one because mm-hmm. my inspirations are Nas, Biggie Smalls, yeah. Jay-Z, Jada Kiss, Styles P, obviously. Shout you out sure to them. The Mary J. Blood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the weird one in their eyes because yeah. I, that's what I brought up. Shout yeah. out to my mom. Mm, I remember yeah. we used to go, when we used to go home, we'd be listening to Fabulous, to Mia. We mm. l- used to listen to Mary J. Bumping that in the car. Oh, so you got that. You got that classic yeah, in your chub yeah. too. Yeah, and it's like I just try to put that in the music. Mm. And what he said, it's all about the love. Mm. I don't care if I don't get paid for it. I have a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have other, and I have my other assets too. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, if I make somebody happy, for me, I'm doing this because I want to bring Yonkers back to the times where it was when it first got found by Jada Kiss, Styles P, uh, Mary yeah, J, and, and DMX, lot, DMX. Yeah. DMX, and all them. That's what Rough that's Riders. my that's my inspiration. So the, the home. You can find my music though, yeah. iTunes, Spotify, yeah, everywhere. So he's plugging that right yeah. now. He's plugging it right now. That's in case it's for the money. It's for the money. Make money, money right the now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. He says Spotify, iTunes. <laughs> that inspired me. That's for the plug. For the plug. Do what you got to do. For the plug. So, Chubbs, who's, who's some of your inspiration? Were you looking at, like, like were you looking at comedians? Like, yo, these, de- these guys mean, are dope. I want to do this. Yo, to be honest, man, mm-hmm. I can't even sit here and lie and say yeah, because I'm not big on comedy, and I don't... I don't want to call myself a comedian, mm-hmm. but I know that's what everybody's, that's the category everybody's going to put me in. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that, like I told you before, I, I always been the same dude. Like I always been a clown, period. Mm-hmm. So like I ain't looked to, you know, want to be like Eddie Murphy, want to mm-hmm. be like Kevin Hart, want to mm-hmm. be like, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I like to make people laugh, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just like to be 
You know, so I would say who's who's somebody that like one of your favorite people that you feel is like who makes you laugh? Who makes me laugh? Wow, that's crazy. My mom's, bro. Believe <laughs> my mom. Yeah, my mom's. By the way, happy birthday to mom. Yeah, Dukes, happy birthday to mom, Dukes, man. <laughs> Belated, love you, baby. Yeah. But it, yeah, like my mom's, my my kids. They, you know yeah. what I'm saying? My my niece, all yeah. my kids. Like my kids is clowns, you know too. So <laughs> what inspires me is just to you know just to keep doing it for them, man. Family first. And, you know, right. remain humble, man. That's what it is. Oh yeah, of course. Back. Yeah. yeah shout back. out to back, man. For back real. Is the, back is the realest that ever did it. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's <laughs> yeah, the realest that ever did it. <laughs> that's my brother sister right there man I only got one bitch. absolutely them, yeah <laughs> so so Montra, who's 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 your inspiration? Montro, Montro, Montro. 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 That's the that's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the female monster. Yeah, yeah, that's the female uh, monster. Right. Four five, you're calling four five. Five four five. Yeah, four five. See, 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 um, I got a lot, me. Mm. <laughs> I got a lot mm. from Onyx to Wu Tang, mm. old school, everybody, bro, uh, in the Spanish just, industry, mm. Playero, mm. the Noise, mm. all that type of music, crazy. That hooky party shit. How you feel about Calle 13? Uh, Calle 13, and Tego too. And all that. Of course, but yeah. you know what I mean? I was already, um, yo era más teenager ya cuando salió Tego, you right. know what I mean? But he still did it too, you know what I mean? All of them. I, I look up to all of them. He I already he named Jules. Yeah, I remember. I remember you when know? I first seen Thego, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't even understand that hip hop was in that 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 space. So when I first heard him, the way he looked, the way he rhymed, the, I felt it. I didn't know what he was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, How he yeah, carried yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. Thego was hip hop. A lot of people, don't give, lot of people don't give him them props, you know? bro. That red tape broke down a lot of doors, man. Yeah, yeah. Because once yeah, that yeah. came out, that put like that put you know Daddy Yankee. It, it kind of opened up the door for everybody. Extra, mm -hmm. yeah. It made it made Extra the world uh, yeah. uh, worldwide. Extra. Yeah, it like changed that. the game. I mean, a lot of people. It it almost it changed the game so much that there'd be a lot of Spanish artists that aren't necessarily singing hip hop, uh -huh. but they look hip hop yeah. singing yeah. Spanish yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. So yeah. it was true like, story. wow, you know, true the story. daddy, I mean, the Donald You know, but the reggaeton and all, and all that is great. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to say nothing bad. I love all that music, but it's party music. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like you can't express yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the only difference. Unless like, you try to get somebody the... pregnant or something. Yeah. 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 I want to sing your reggaeton, mommy, but yeah. you know what I mean? After this, reggaeton you're going to be not much. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's where the hip hop comes in. That's why I was feeling Tego. When Tego came out, you know who else said that I started Exactly. I started liking too when he started bringing when he started bringing lyrics into the Mamba was Omega. Because he started that down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bringing lyrics to that type of so that was, you know that was my next that was my next question you know? <laughs> it's about like performing now performing stuff like that so i'm gonna go with you mike performing right mm -hmm. what what right now do you feel is your strength performing my strength performing definitely is my energy and my presence on stage mm. like i've done so far six performances mm. and there hasn't been one person that hasn't told me and like said it and honestly that you're special when you're on stage it's like you're this nice quiet funny guy but mm. when you're on stage it's like you're a totally different person mm. and like i remember one show that like it was my second show it was mm. in october last year and i completely blacked out mm. i don't know if i did good i don't know nothing mm. all i know is people was taking pictures mm -hmm. I do, had, do you have your own dj uh not exactly but i have yeah. friends that do it okay. so like just check. You always got one available. Yes. There, there you go. There you go. But <laughs> it was like afterwards seeing the seeing the video, seeing mm. the pictures, mm. and seeing and like asking the promoters like how'd I do? They mm. was like, bro, you were special. Like people were clapping for you. Like me and my man Jay, shout out to my music partner Jay, shout out mm. to Cabal Entertainment, mm. my other group. Mm. Um we had our friend we had like 30 people on stage with us, and it was the first time they seen me perform. Mm. Cause honestly, people were like they see me, they're like, "Oh, I don't know if you can rap or whatever," but I earned their respect. Mm. And they said, even though I mean I like your music, cause it's like old schoolish, mm. I respect how you perform because you just took me to another place. Yeah, that's what it's about. And bringing that's what energy. it is. Yeah, bringing the energy. You know what I mean? For the money, Chubbs. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I seeing you 
and, and we we kind of knew each other. But we weren't formally introduced. Yeah, yeah. But when I seen you on IG, you it was two different people. It seemed like yeah. like you were in character, I mean, ready to wild out. Yeah, and it, it didn't look like that. I mean, uh, um. You you didn't know me. I mean, I knew of, I knew of you because mm-hmm. of my sister and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, believe it or not, it's a funny story because I always bring this up to Dom, man. Shout mm-hmm. out to Smackington too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always bring up Dom on this. Um, I was Dom's like, yo, I, I want to take you to the radio station where mm-hmm. Doug is at or whatever with my man. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, that's the dude that had the Timberland cowboy boots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bugging or not? Like nah, the I did, yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did. I'm like, yo, <laughs> the construction cowboy boots, bro. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know exactly. I'm who like, you're yo, about. the dude that wears nothing but polo, <laughs> always fresh to be with the. I'm lying or not? Nah, yeah, that was that was how I was on and it. And I was yeah. like, yeah, that's my man, bro. That's my man. And I'm like, yo, there, I definitely, you know, what I, mean? I definitely want to work with them. But now I always knew about you. I always knew Doug is old, you know, family and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. Other than that, B. so so your perform. So how do you how do you like? Do you get um? Do you write your skits? Do you like? Yo, I'm feeling something. Nah, record me. Every like, everything how do you do comes it? natural. Like, mm-hmm. um, my number one video, the shit that really got me popping, mm-hmm. which was the um the Penny and White Rice video. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody caught that. You know, what I'm saying one point eight million on Facebook. Yo, you know, I'm not crazy. trying to plug nothing in, but um, is that one of the plug? But you know, it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, it was just it was just a funny time. Um, um, my girl had came over from my mother in law's crib. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm Puerto Rican or whatever, mm-hmm. but the Spanish people usually, when they make that um that penny, they usually make it with like yellow rice and gandules. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my girl was like in a rush. She came home or whatever, <laughs> and um she had made it with white rice mm-hmm. and beans. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her and I was like, yo, I mean, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry <laughs> and I appreciate you. Your but this shit revolt. don't fucking match. <laughs> like it don't match. Your you know what I'm saying? Get revolt. Yeah. Your about to get no, no, no. It was like she, it was like a, it was like a she, hamburger with spaghetti. Hey, yeah, yes. it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm like, yo, you make a hamburger, you gotta make French fries. Like yeah. It, yeah, you know, yeah. this shit don't match. Mm-hmm. And then from there, that just took you know, just took it off. But mm-hmm. I don't even be mm-hmm. like. I don't even be writing my skits or nothing down. Most of this shit just be coming off the top. Wow, like, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? When, mm-hmm. Whenever I'm in a mood or something or, you know, mm-hmm. my girl spazzing out about something, I'll mm-hmm. make that up for... You know, how for how do you video. feel now? Because yeah. I know, you know, the first time you did it, it was what it was. But now there's a demand. Yeah. How do you feel about, like, I need uh, new content, I need new material? The way I feel about that is, man, I don't want to lose myself. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be nobody else. Like, shout out to everybody else that's doing what they're doing on mm-hmm. IG. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I'm not throwing myself through no windows. I'm, I'm too big <laughs> to do all tables and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, shout, shout out to everybody that's doing it. But I, I want to remain myself, man. I want to mm-hmm. remain humble. And mm-hmm. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? If, if everybody's going to laugh because... Mm-hmm. They knew me before. They're going to laugh the same way. I'm, okay. I'm not trying to change my character for nobody. That's real. Remain Montro. Que lo que. Four, five. We're going to get that right, player. Ah. <laughs> Montro, I see some of your videos. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, you 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 seem like the same person from the from the video to the to in, in, in real life. Will you drop something real quick? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, the, yeah. Them, it, it got the, oh. Yeah, them, <laughs> what you seen there? What you seen there? Let me see. Oh, I got the... the Oh, right, cool. That's one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel, too, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plug, 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 plug. Subscribe plug, to the plug, channel. Plug, plug, plug. plug, plug. <laughs> For your people who just missed what he just said. Lavish Levels in the building. What up? What up? Sal Sa- Sa- was looking for his YouTube, and he told him to subscribe as well. <laughs> so, y'all make sure your whole Sal Sa- Sa- good <laughs> to that, to subscribe. <laughs> to that YouTube channel, yo, we gonna start doing that too. We gonna do. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna start doing that, man. Every guest that come up here, we gonna be like, yo, before you leave, we need to see you subscribe <laughs> to this YouTube channel. We need to see you push that button. You're not going. You know, the, the law. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. We not even. Gonna, first of all, we not even gonna start the interview until they subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We, we need to Word. see subscriptions, right? Word. For those don't know, subscribing to your channel is very important. That's it, man. Better yes. than a like and a view. Thanks for yeah. this, yo, bro. Yeah. And we go, yo, we need to do a commercial with him and have his face right there. Be like, subscribe now. <laughs> subscribe now. Subscribe to HHPOV, <laughs> and then after that. <laughs> 
You subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe on the phone. Subscribe <laughs> on the computer. Do it together. But make sure you One, subscribe. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So your your personality for the videos for performances. How is it? You just you got to get into mode, or it's just it nah, nah. It's natural. I go up there. And, yes. You know, I'm, I drink a beer before I go on stage. <laughs> nah, I'm on a plane. <laughs> he keeping it. He keeping it so thousand. He keeping it so thousand right now. So I gotta have my beer. So thousand, bro. <laughs> look at look at, like know? like nothing has changed about this guy. <laughs> nothing has changed about this guy <laughs> since he sat down, bro. The same the same persona. Like he's like, yo, he got up, he walked over there the same. Everything like he's like, yo, this is me, man. This is me. All nah, day. nah, so this is me. You know what I mean? And yeah. I like I like that the energy. The mm. vibe is great right now. That's what's up. Yeah, man. We, yeah, we like to have a good time, you know, man. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> We want to we want to network too, get out the situations going. Whoever needs support, you yeah, know, we thank you, appreciate that, and, appreciate and, and that. Stay, appreciate stay tuned it. for next week's show when E wears the uh, cowboy Timberlands. <laughs> Bro, all right. Right. For the money, <laughs> for the money. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video, put some crazy joints on. Yeah, for the money, Chubs. Yeah. For the fashion. You know what I mean? For the fashion. <laughs> the I see you on the block. Doug looked at me like, yo, I ain't even Pito. What year was that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? Yeah, we had some oh, wild, man. we had some wild times. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> so this, this right now, what's this on? on um, okay. That's on, that's on funk, Brazilian. Okay. That's for the ladies. Mm. For the for ladies. My sexy ladies. That's for the monstras, yeah. That's for my ladies. That's that's the natural. Natural. I like going to the gym. That's for the that's monstras, for my ladies. Yeah. That's natural. Yeah. They like going to the gym, you know what I mean? Yeah. And doing it the natural way. I don't yeah. got nothing against the ones that go and get all that life. Spending money, spending all that money on that. Do that. that. Yeah. But that one right there for my yeah, female. Shout out to my man, Herb. Yeah. Let's go. Bring that, bring that for the top. Bring that for the top. Bring that for the top. And who's who did the production for this? My man, um, Profix in Canada. Oh wow. Um, Profix 809. He's well known, a real good producer. For the motras. Ah, para mujeres mías, sexy. Fuego a la lata. No importa mami si eres chata. Dale. What? Que eso no se gasta. Ah, mami dale gas. Yeah. Hey. Oh man, we need a house party. Yeah. Right now, we, need a house. we need a Bronx house party so bad right now. Baby. <laughs> so I get hype. I get hype. Music get me so hype. Say home. Music get me hype. Hookie party, B. Oh, it's a hookie party. Oh, Money the oh, Say home. Hookie party. Oh, them hookie parties. I was in. I was in trouble. I was in trouble with the hookie parties, man. A work hookie yeah, party. Yeah. Mike and Dream, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, subscribe. Actually, <laughs> let's get to it. Subscribe. Ah, everybody, everybody, like everybody, like everybody, everybody channel. Subscribe. Uh, let's go. I have, like, I have the team's channel. So go look up Cabal New York. Cabal, spell it out. C A B A L. Hold on, I don't type so fast. C A B A L. New York. New York. All right, Cabal New York. Okay. C A B what? C A B A L. <laughs> you already know he didn't subscribe. You know. <laughs> say that again. C. It's you gotta slow it down for the duck. You gotta slow it down. For the duck. For the slow. You gotta, gotta slow it down. For the slow. For the slow. For the slow. For the slow. <laughs> so, that, so that's your joint? Yeah. Your, your. No, so it's like for my peeps at home, shout out to Cabo Entertainment. That's mm. like a group of friends of mine. Like I mm. said, my man Jay. Mm. Uh, we have our friend Lewis, who is the, actually the owner of the company. He mm. got he signed like some papers and made it an official company. Mm. And then we have the video producer. We have the guy that does all the videos. Mm. My man Andy, or as, as he's called Leviathan, mm. he wants to be called in mm. the industry. Mm. And I met them like about a year ago. Mm. It's actually a full year now. Mm. And that basically, once I met them, that's when everything started. That's when the mm. the shows, the music. Mm. And they, they put it to the next level. Okay. Yeah, and it's like it was. I don't know how it was like. How anything? It was like it was like the stars aligned, I guess, in a way. I it, mean, people are working out here. That's that's yeah. that's what's interesting. Because I remember, Chubbs, when you told me about how it went crazy. Yeah. Um, and, and I, because you know the story was ill when I heard it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> you got to say it again because I'm kind of envisioning it as you telling me the way it was moving fast. You talking about hours. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, they oh, joints yeah. go that Facebook. You know the vi the way it went viral. Oh, the way it went viral. And, and um, I never seen. No, I never. Nobody ever told me how yeah. something went viral. Yeah. yeah. Nah, so that experience, you could tell. That us experience was definitely crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I had somebody. Um, 
somebody hit me up on my DM. Damn, I'm sorry, I I, I just I forgot your name right now, mm. but he know who he is, man. Mm. Shouts out to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, and I forgot. This his goes name. out to you. This goes, he said this goes out to you. Um, um, he's definitely. He hit me up one day on my um on my on my DM, and he's like, "Yo, bro, I I, I caught your video. Um, I'm gonna post it on my on my um on my Facebook page or whatever." It's gonna go crazy though, cause he's like, I'm from the military. I got a lot of military followers, mm. and it's gonna go crazy. Mm. So of course, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, thanks, whatever. bro. I appreciate yeah, yeah. you. Right, yeah, you, you know, know I kept it. Yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah. 100, and I appreciate you or whatever. Mm. Um, next morning, I go to work regular, and wifey just hits me up. She's like, yo, um, your video's going crazy on Facebook. Mm. Mind you, I don't even got a Facebook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't got a Facebook <laughs> at this time. I turned my Facebook over a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yo, it's going crazy on Facebook. You got like 25,000 views. Yep. And this was at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And so, I'm what like, you so how long was it from the time he sent you that DM? Uh, the night before. The night before? The night before, Jeez. yeah. It just started going crazy, 25,000, 25,000. And then from there. Did you see it? Yeah, then I made I I, I, I um got back on my Facebook page. <laughs> he said, I'm open this back I had up. To go, open this back I forgot up. password, all that crazy <laughs> shit. I had to find myself again on Facebook and all that. <laughs> are so, you a robot? I, are you <laughs> are you a robot? Where's the license plate? Where's the car? You know what I'm saying? Point to the rabbit. You know, regular shit like that. Point at the rabbit. But yeah, yeah. But um, but nah, mm. I got on my Facebook page. I went to the dude's page or whatever, and then mm. I saw it, and it was already at like seventy thousand. Um, mm. uh, from that that whole day right there, probably I probably got like seven hundred k in that one day. God then man. on Instagram, I was at four hundred. Probably like 300 something followers, which mm. was like family and, mm. you know, regular. If you don't follow mm -hmm. me, I don't follow you people. Mm. Yeah. And then from there, it just went crazy overnight. I was at like fucking 3,000, 4,000. Mm. And it did, just started going up. Did that you celebrate? Oh, I, I was just celebrating. You and wifey, did you celebrate? Oh, yeah. My girl made the um, the yeah, yeah, yeah. the right yeah, way, the hey, right way. And yeah. just, yeah. right started, just started dancing in the kitchen. Oh, nah. We made it for the even, money. I didn't even believe it till the shit started going crazy on Instagram. Yo. Then Yo, I could definitely I... see it. You know what I mean? Oh, and plus, uh, I think this is what he was gonna get into. I had people hitting me up from PR. Mm -hmm. My cousins is like. Yo, your video's going crazy, and I'm like, whoa! How the hell you got light? Wow. <laughs> you got, the it's the hurricane just passed. You got Wi Fi. You, you got Wi Fi out there. You ain't even got no light. Bro. He said, he said, it's a hurricane and you're watching my video. I'm like, bro, how you got wow. light? Yo, I was, at, I I was wifi, at the Dominican bro, Republic oh, at the moment when I seen he went viral. Mm. Yeah, I was in DR, so I'm, I'm on Facebook or whatever, sharing my own personal stuff, like mm. promoting myself. Mm. Subscribe when, when I see him. <laughs> I'm like, he pops up on somebody else stuff, and I see he says one point million. I'm like, what the fuck? Click! Yo, Chuck, where you at? Mm. <laughs> Yo, you viral, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you went viral, kid. You know what I mean? And did you was, look at the video like, yo, is this Chubbs? <laughs> no, no, I already knew it was him. Oh. I already saw the video before. Mm. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? So I knew I, it's just the that he went was viral. Like three oh, months wow. old. You know what I mean? That old. So when it went funny viral, was I was so like, old. what the? Yeah, it was like three months old before it went crazy. Mm. But funny that it it, it kind of went crazy right by the holidays. Mm. Like that's when all the Spanish people oh, jumped yeah. on it. World Star Latino, mm. shout out to them. Mm. Team Puerto Rico, Hispanics mm. like on uh, um, be like all them people just started posting it. it. it and crazy. since it was the holidays, all the Spanish people had old ladies. Yeah, everybody from watching, my job. Yeah. Yeah. I drive t I drive cab also. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got like seven jobs. Mm. But I one of my <laughs> jobs, one of my jobs, I drive cab. Mm. So I had people getting in my cab, and I'm like. <laughs> They like, oh, you the fucking fat Benny, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then it just started going crazy for the holidays, man. I appreciate that. Yo, and that that, that that that's actually the segue to the next question. So, Mike can dream. With with all you doing, right? Fame comes, mm -hmm. right? Do you want it? Do you want all that? Can't move. Everybody, per paparazzi. Do you want it? Honestly. <laughs> I will say, I'll answer it like this. I can handle it because of my personality. and But do you want it? Do I want it? I want it because I want to make sure the right people that have been by me f since the jump in Yonkers in general, that they get the dues as okay. much as I do. All right. And, like, to go with how everybody's saying they went, you went viral and everything like this, you know – Something special happens mm -hmm. when it just hits out of the blue. Mm -hmm. Like Facts. he said, it just hit out of yeah, the blue. The blue. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I meet my friends two months later. 
we're on we're on a radio show in a, in a magazine. We're mm-hmm. doing shows like this, mm-hmm. and it's like you, you know you didn't force it. it yeah, just you didn't happened. force yeah, it. Like you too, like though. you just you believed in yourself, and mm-hmm. it was it's just natural because you didn't have to change. You didn't have to do anything like what people are doing now. Selling selling themselves out. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like it looks like you got regular color hair. You ain't got no dreads or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is who he is. He ain't got no dreads. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no more. No, it's rap. like. <laughs> It's like I have no pinta, problem with anything. Si te pinta el pelo de verde, you get on tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> no, like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like I'm, I'm glad, friends. like not just me, but nobody on this table. You didn't have to sell yourself out mm. to get where you want to get. Mm. Like yes. not just music for me. I'm graduating from community college in May, so mm. I'm happy about Congrats that. About that. Mm. I'm nice. doing all that, mm. and then it's like all the shows I'm doing. I'm only 20 years old, mm. and a kid that's 20 years old, especially from Yonkers. Mm. Where no, it looks like nobody makes it anymore. Mm. It's like, oh, you open up for Davies, you open for that, and there's so many people that rap these days. Mm. For me to say I do that, and I'm humble about it, and I didn't have to change myself for nothing. Mm. I just had to evolve a little bit mm. and mm. just work at my craft. Mm. I'm I'm happy about that. That's nice. a blessing, man. Bless. A blessing for the money. Do you feel like? Do you want the fame? Would you rather not have it? I mean, um, um. I'm all right with it. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with the fame. I'm cool exactly. with the fame. If the money comes, it's going to be definitely great. Because mm-hmm. I could put, you know what I'm saying, my family where I want mm-hmm. them to be at. But if you had a choice? um, I mean, um, I don't really care, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm just, <laughs> if it comes, it yeah. comes. If it don't, it don't. Mm-hmm. The most important thing is I don't want to lose myself. That's, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to yeah. remain the same dude. Mm-hmm. Whether you see me roll up in a Bentley or you see me roll up in my cab, <laughs> I'm still going to dab you the same way and still going to be humble, still show love. Like, that's what's up. That's, that's what's up. Like not, not to no cut you off, many. like I feel like people that have the fame, they don't value that as mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. It's like the You, you want to send a message for that as well. No, yeah. yeah. It's like subscribe to I, that. I, yeah, subscribe <laughs> for that. <laughs> like value value your what's your morals? What's mm-hmm. like what brought you up in the whole game? Don't mm-hmm. change yourself just because mm-hmm. it's the new trend. Yeah. Like in one of the songs I wrote more than just hype, the hook for the song is I'm just a trendsetter. I'm not a hype getter. Mm-hmm. Like I want to be a trendsetter for people that you can make it by being yourself. You don't got to be the hype getter. You don't got to catch this thing you gonna you don't have to do yeah. all that like jump on that wave yeah you, know, you don't have to do jump on that because it's temporary if you're not yourself you're temporary absolutely montro four five i'm gonna keep saying it now you got it you got, got it, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep saying you got it you know i'm honorary spanish where, where i'm at my hood. <laughs> i'm honorary <laughs> Yo, by the end of the show, oh, you got to sign, man. So, uh, but the, the fame for you. So, you, I, I, I got to. There's a lot. We've seen a lot of people come through here. You already look like you had the fame already, and you and you done with it. Like I'm done with the fame. You know what I'm saying? I had it already. I'm on my I'm on my cool out. I'm on my Hell way no. down. Hell no! I haven't even meet the fame. <laughs> I don't want to meet her either. I want to meet Doc Cheddar. So you don't really now, care about the fame? I don't care about the fame or jokes aside. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If it comes, I ain't going to give nobody pictures. Mm-hmm. I'm serious about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, nope. No, no, no pictures for nobody. No nothing for nobody. Just buy my sh- stuff on iTunes. <laughs> Show me that love. Share my stuff. Nah. You get a, you get a picture play. if you buy nah, it. Nah, nah. I'm only playing. I'm only playing. The mm-hmm. fame comes in something beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm only playing with y'all. Mm-hmm. It comes to something beautiful. You always work for that. Mm-hmm. For people to show you love, mm-hmm. love is bigger than hate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So people to love you is, ain't nothing better than you meeting somebody and telling you, yo, I love what you do. Mm-hmm. That's like your spirit, your soul yeah, going up there and coming back down. That's you know the money maker right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the money maker. All jokes up, aside, all jokes that aside. Up, that's, that's, that's mad crazy though. Because like, I had, I, had, I had people hit me up. I'm sorry about that. I had people hit me up on... um. On my DM, and they like, yo, bro, I woke up today, I was in a shitty mood, and I jumped on yes. I, uh, um, Instagram, and I saw your video, and bro, I'm like, my, day's got, my day got better. That's and then, dope. like, I'm thinking to myself, like, who am I? You know what I'm saying? Like, how his day got better, but I'm still got to pull up 7 o'clock to work, <laughs> and my day is garbage. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But now nah, that keeps me motivated. Like, yeah, and, that shit. And like, that's, after this, I got to drive a cab. You know what I mean? But it keeps me motivated, and I love when it, you know, that's that's one of the, the big things for me, when people that's hit me up. Right there, and they're like, yo, keep doing your thing or whatever, or you brighten my day, or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. That's heavy, that because definitely, while you doing what you doing, very... It's rare that very few people in life can tell you, like, yo, because of what you do, 
I I'm feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not your family. You know, the strangers that tell yeah, you that. That's, that's, a that's heavy. Exactly. That's a fact. So for you now, business situations, right? Mm -hmm. Are you looking to just go independent? You're looking to get on the label? What's your situation? Um, So I do want to get on the label. That's mm -hmm. always been the dream of mine. Um, So I recently met this guy mm -hmm. named Parnell. Shout out Parnell. Mm -hmm. And like he look, he like helps with label meetings and everything. Mm -hmm. So like I'm talking with him right now, mm -hmm. like the label, like I'm, we're discussing because that's always been the dream of mine. The mm -hmm. label that showed me everything, mm -hmm. Def Jam, mm -hmm. that's always been the label. And so like once we get like a few kinks together and everything, mm -hmm. like I told him, I, like I want, he's like, oh, when do you want to have it so we can start the marketing plan and have a target marketing system? Mm -hmm. Gonna look at it in June. So with all, after all that. I have the shows coming up that I have. Mm -hmm. I have the projects that I have coming out. I'm working mm -hmm. on my debut album, Heir mm -hmm. to the Throne, right now, and Air everything. And it's going to feature mm -hmm. all my friends that have been there for me. The Dream City team, the Cabal team, whole Yonkers team. Bringing them all to Def Jam. Yep. They all come <laughs> in the Def Jam imprint. <laughs> That's the way we go going to do it. And then it's it. have that. And then, like, I get signed, I get signed. Mm -hmm. Other business Trying to start have the clothing brand too. We're mm. sell, selling clothes as well mm. for Cabal Entertainment and everything. Dream City, we're not yet. We're mm. I'm, we're just trying to get the deal first and everything like that. But after mm. that, I mean, that's what's up. Chubbs, what about it you? How you trying to how you trying to do it? What's your, you trying to your own business fashion line? You want to do I mean, uh, entertainment company? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to do that. Mm. I definitely want to get an entertainment company. Mm -hmm. um, I want to definitely start incorporating my clothing line back into it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I let it go a little bit due mm -hmm. to like you know, personal issues and stuff. Absolutely. But um, I think I'm getting I'm back on track. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the clothing line is something that I definitely want to do because mm -hmm. that's another way. A lot of people don't know that's another way that you know what I'm saying to express yourself mm -hmm. through the clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, due to the comedy, yeah, man, whatever comes, man, whatever comes, people mm -hmm. want me to host. They mm -hmm. want me to, you know, mm -hmm. I definitely want to start doing a little bit of stand up, man. I definitely got to get booed got you. once or twice. <laughs> got you. I got a couple of outlets. Yeah, Shout out to our sponsor, booed, Last man. Lap Fridays. Uh, we I got a couple like of outlets. I, like yeah, said, I, I need that I get, experience. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I need one person to be like. I need one sandman. I'm not man. feeling it. <laughs> just one. Just one just, Apollo like, sandman. Only one. Just, just like one. I need one. That's when you know it's real. That yeah, That's when you know it's real. That's a fact. He said, so I only need one person. <laughs> four or five. What's your situation? How you want to do it? You want to? You want to? Got your own. I see you got your videos. Is looking very clean, very high grade. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, nice camera. Cinematography is up. So what's your situation? Independent? You want to? I'm get independent. Late? I support myself. How mm -hmm. I said, I'm mm -hmm. not living up the music right now. I want to, but mm -hmm. not yet. Haven't popped off. No, no um, label conversations. For the money's the clothing line I'm pushing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's, and that's it. it for now. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. Clean. All right, we getting into romantics. Oh man, here we go. Let's get to it. We could we could do bilingual. Oh. We can do oh. English. <laughs> we can do trap. We can do a reggae dog. However you want to do it. Oh, man. We can sing it. Mike and Dream. You can sing it if you want to. Oh, nah, we're not, we don't do that no more. No, no, no. All right, let's go. Rob Manson, let's do it. So, Mike, Mike and Dream. You saw the game yeah. earlier. You so you kind of know Chubbs, Montro. Let me tell you how it goes. Okay, we're gonna right, say people. we're gonna say a sentence, right? So, for example, for the money, right? You would have to rhyme that sentence with another sentence, but the last word has to rhyme with money. So, right. for the money, I love my honey. All right. right? Okay. And then we keep passing the mic, right, keep it going. All right? We got a time limit. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, now you, now you <laughs> flossing on them. So, get that red card. Get that red card out. Right? Okay. Let Mike and Dream set it off. Oh, man. Give him that mic. Give him the silver the mic. mic. I gotta get the mic. Here we go. All right. Damn, I left my notepad in the car. Yo, yeah, man. Hey, here we go. <laughs> that sign in the car, man. Set up. You have to stop. Okay. Right, go this way. Oh, this way. You have to stop. All right, wait. What am I doing now? You're rhyming that. You're rhyming that. You got, you got to rhyme oh, you got to rhyme with it. Oh, you got to rhyme with it? Oh, okay. I should just say it. Okay. Nah. You have to stop. Oh, shit. There's the cops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I gotta right. start with this. The <laughs> cops is good. Oh, really? Cops is. I gotta start with the cop. Right? cop. cop. <laughs> nah, just just keep going. Stop. You don't gotta say it. You stop. You said cop. So just cop. Come on now. I said cop. The cop is good. He Let's said go. Police cop. <laughs> I say you gotta stop. Like the hands on the clock. Stop right there. Hold the, hold the clock. Hold the clock. Hold the clock. The clock. Clock. 
and stop. The judge says. <laughs> judge says. They got a rhyme. They got a rhyme. My bad. My bad. They got it. You gotta go again. Go again. Oh, I go again. Yeah. You have to stop. You gotta stop. Like the hands on the clock go tickety tock. Stop tock. Oh, he let me pass. I'm good with that. Guy let me pass. Let's go. All right, I go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Flip the clock. I appreciate you, baby. I said you got to stop before you go to the top. Go to the top. There we go. Hey, he had an hour to write that. He wrote that on his phone, man. Come on, man. Somebody ghost wrote it. It was IG Live. IG Live ghost wrote it. Whoa, so go. you got to stop. The show is about hip hop. Mm. Uh, let me fix my flip flop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk to your moms and talk to your pop. Mm. Uh, mm. These people got to stop because my album about to drop. Mm. Mm. Keep it, it going. Keep That's going. No, keep it going. Album about to drop, but my album's a little more hot. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Stop the clock. <laughs> Ah! Stop the clock. Stop the clock. For the judge. Come For on, the judge. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> no, he said no. Oh, my God. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yo, still, yo, yo. said I gave I you one. <laughs> <laughs> yo, give me two, man. Yo, yo. yo. Slims is that one dude that's going to boo him at that comedy oh, show. Man. <laughs> no, no. Right, pass the mic, like, pass the mic. All right, good, oh. good, good. Is that I left my, I left the notebook in the car, okay. man. I don't <laughs> freestyle, man. I don't Brian, freestyle. Put it, put it, put it on top. With the first. All right, all right, all right, all right. See, he writing right now, <laughs> man. He writing, he Next call, <laughs> next call, next call. Next call. Next call, you ready? The answer is no. The, the answer is no? There you go. All right, here you go. I'm a... That's going to be start it off. You do? I'm Chub, starting it off. Chubb started, Chub started off now. The answer is no. <laughs> All right. The answer is no. Mm. The answer is no. So Chubb's got to go. <laughs> Clean. Clean. <laughs> yeah, so you before you get a yes, <laughs> I appreciate it. from me, just know you get a no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. That's good. He said, Oh, he said no again. I didn't oh, catch no, that. Me? Judge. Yeah. Oh, you can't oh, say oh, no. He said, I say no, no. <laughs> I say no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a figure of speech. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been, a, I thought it was the other no. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 There's two no's, bro. There's two no's. Yo. Yo. Pass it. That's flow. Flow. Yo. So. So. <laughs> Easy. Time's up. Time's up. Time's Mike up. and Dre. Time's up. Listen, we had a great time. Yo, <laughs> I can't, man. I can't. We got we to gotta oh, make sure man, definitely before is, we man. leave, we plug yeah, yeah, what we, we doing. We one, one more minute. So just do it real quick. Mike and Dre, plug what you doing. All right. What's happening? Un minuto. All right, you guys can follow me on IG, <laughs> Nasty Mike 20 Yes, that's the name, Nasty mm -hmm. Mike 20 That's an inside joke so with my so friends. Nasty. Yes, <laughs> I so nasty. Yes, so exactly. Nasty. Um, you could go on my SoundCloud, mcm.c.d, Mike and Dream. You can find me on Apple Music as well. And next show coming out, we're going out of Jersey for the All Black show Showcase. Shout out to Maya Hughes for giving me the opportunity to perform again. It's going to be great. And I hope to see you all soon. Absolutely. Yeah. Chops, get to him. What's next? <laughs> Yo, follow me on For The Money, man, on Instagram, man. F-O-R underscore D-H-A underscore money, man. Follow your boy, man. Shouts out to my whole family, man. I love y'all, man. Get to it. Montro. Yeah, Montro 45, Montro 45, just like that. Montro 45. IG, FB, YouTube, Spotify, iCloud iTunes. Subscribe. Let's go. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Let's go. It's for the subscription, all right? <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Shout out to Smackington Dime. We appreciate yes, you. Smackington in the building. SM in the building. We man. out. You know what's up. Hip hop point of view. We out. Let's, Let's go. Let's go.
Radio V.